Hello everybody, Alejandro and Lucy and I are going to speak about pedigree architecture. In this presentation, the structural design of pedigree supporting structures will be introduced, various classifications of pedigree or lightweight constructions will be shown, and the materials used and their possible uses will be presented. Finally, the possibility of transferring these results to construction in Cuba will be portrayed. The word filigran originally comes from Latin and is composed of the word filum and granum, literally translated as great wire. In a figurative sense, the term filigree describes a goldsmith's work, which consists of a fine mesh of wire made of gold and silver. In architecture, filigree is not a firmly defined, but a compound term that tries to describe a certain type of construction that could also be described as delicate or light. The aim of filigree or lightweight construction is to reduce the weight or the mass of the building materials used and to plan the optimal design. In order to design the planning process in a targeted manner and to select the suitable construction, the framework condition should be defined first. These can be evaluated and compiled according to certain categories so that as many questions as possible are clarified in advance. There are many different classifications of filigree or lightweight construction. A common subdivision is made according to Mr. Klein and Gensicke with regard to the strategy used. A distinction is made between material, design, conditional, conceptual and manufacturing lightweight construction. It can happen that several strategies are used at the same time. This classification differentiates between different construction methods that can be used for the individual components of a building. Extensive knowledge in a wide variety of areas is necessary for the correct selection of the suitable construction. Different connection techniques, material properties, manufacturing processes, structural construction, maintenance and subsequent dismantling are just some of the influencing factors to be considered. Once the framework conditions have been clarified, a chronologically structural matrix can be used for the design process, which is helpful in mastering the construction task and selecting appropriate construction. This holistic application strategy can be divided into three phases. First, the strategic, second, the tactical, and third, the operational lightweight construction, as shown on the right side of this slide. The three fields board designed by the architect Engelmann Peters is a steel structure that is built on a reinforced concrete foundation. The primary support structure consists of six multi-span frames of different span width, which are stiffened by a secondary structure that is pulled down on the side. The secondary structure carries a laterally closed facade, which was made from pure hard form panels. The east and west facades are completely glazed. In the course of a research project in RWTH Aachen University, a thin-walled, load-bearing concrete shell structure was implemented. The pavilion consists of four individual prefabricated textile concrete parts that have been reinforced with textile carbon fiber. The shells are supported on four reinforced concrete pillars. After the shells were installed, the pavilion was given a glass facade and is used as a seminar and event room. Bamboo has always been a basic building material in tropical latitudes. In Bali in the 1990s, Iris Australian designer was the first to use bamboo in a contemporary way. She worked with scientists to treat bamboo from beetle pests and turn it into a commercially viable building material. Today, the Bali Green School play a lead role to build often winding structures. This project of 3D printing is proposed by a student of Zurich University. He proposes a way to build with numerical impression for light construction. Due to its geometry, discrete construction allows natural lighting and ventilation. At this time in Cuba, bamboo is used almost used in the elaboration of furniture and handicrafts. This project of tourist village is characterized by having a well-defined center made up of public and service areas, 
from which the trails leading to the cabin start. This building stands on a rear horns concrete floor. Despite the country's current reforestation policy and the gradual increase in forests, the timber spaces traditionally used in the construction of rural housing in Cuba have a really slow development. For Cuban, we thought about replacing traditional wood. We think about bamboo as a sustainable source of raw material for the construction of rural popular housing in Cuba. Limestone calcium clay cement is a really new material that has a link between calcium clay and limestone. This influences the reduction of clinker volumes and the most polluting element in common compositions are reduced. This is a environmentally potential for Cuba. Cuba is being a country totally surrounded by water and frequently hit by inclement weather. Needs this type of structure that we present and it runs the entire width and length of the island. Concrete and steel are the construction material most used worldwide in this type of structure. Here, the disadvantage of the use in such aggressive environment increase even more when the problem of steel corrosion continues to be an unknown to be solved. 